learned judge has granted leave in relation to our prayer for an order of certiorari to quash uh, the order of the minister declaring Bursay as an unlawful society and secondly further or alternatively a declaration that that order the minister's order is null and void and of no effect this is just leave eh? mm -hmm. this means we can now argue the application on its merits at the hearing date on November the 22nd that's right uh, the learned judge did not grant leave in relation to the orders of prohibition and mandamus in other words prayers 3 and 4 prohibition uh, prayers 3 and 4 but uh, leave has been granted in relation to prayers 1 and 2 but uh, what, what, what are the prohibition and mandamus uh, that's, uh, the reason that is basically to prohibit uh, the respondents etc from uh, entering premises searching right. seizing right. material and so on and uh, similarly with the uh, order of mandamus but the order of uh, prayers 1 and 2 are the critical yeah. orders because they relate directly to the order of the minister that was gazetted. Yes. How would you just... How? On what ground that she... Uh, uh, no, it was very... Uh, she gave very brief grounds um, and um, really dealt with the objections that were raised by the uh, learned uh, Attorney General's chambers previously. So they were very brief grounds, uh, but essentially uh, that leave was granted in relation to prayer. So the PO was refused? Uh, yes, save, at, save and accept as to three prayer four. 3 and 4. Okay. So they succeeded in re relation to prayer 3 and 4, mm. uh, but uh, not in relation to the other objections that they raised. How would you describe the reason today uh, in terms of uh, well, I mean, I'm very happy as, as far as we are concerned. Uh, this is uh, very important because it relates to an executive order. And it is, of course, in relation to an application for leave where the threshold is very low. So we believe uh, that um, we are entitled and we are happy that the court also believes that we are entitled to take this matter to the next stage. And as I say, this is only leave. It doesn't mean we've succeeded yet. We still have to argue the matter on the merits on, on the 22nd of November. And I think this is, this is important for the public interest. What do you expect in the uh, second I, I, I can't. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a crystal ball, so I can't tell you. But uh, really, you know, now that we have the chance to ventilate the issues uh, openly, I think uh, we will have to take it from there. Have the respondents indicated whether they will appeal the decision? They haven't indicated, but uh, I mean, I, they have appealed other decisions before, so I, 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 I don't know whether they will. Of course, the easiest way out of all of this is if the minister revokes this order. Then yeah. all of us yeah. don't have to waste time over it. All right. Go back and brief my my boss, lah. Uh -huh. uh, so yeah. you do not rule out yet. Ah no 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 okay. no Because at all we have, we still have uh, what to days lah to file appeal. Yeah. No. How many days? Fourteen days, huh? Ah, uh, fourteen days. Uh, I have to go back and uh, get instruction from uh, AG, lah. No, because here also we appeal. Uh, AG is supposed to appear. I'm mm -hmm. appearing for AG la, during the leave stage. So it's up to AG. Mm -hmm. I'll go back and brief him. If we say we appeal, then we appeal. Okay. And otherwise, uh, the date has been fixed on the November 22nd. That's all. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.